Hi YouTubers, in this video you're going to see me fit a key code entry lock, a Borg key code entry lock to an external outside gate I built this year. Thank you. So, at Marker's again. So we fitted a lovely little latch from Ironmongery Direct. We're taking this handle off today and we're fitting the rather nice Borg lock. Okay. So we've got our lock, I've got to change the handle direction. So this will be going on, this will be going on there. Okay. Got all our bits, great instructions, our rim plate. So I'm just going to get it all ready and then we'll go through it. I've got the template on. I've taken this slammy strip off, cleaned all this up. I'm going to rebate the receiving latch there and, and then do T coil on there. And then, uh, so you put your template on, you check your width of your gate and your frame is compatible. I've adjusted these across, this is why I fitted these, so that we can move it as it expands and contracts over the winter. I'm now going to drill the 30mm hole. So just doing the uh, grommet up, and place your little grommet in to stop the uh, rain. Oh, get it in square. So this will now sit beautifully there. So, in the kit you get amazing instructions. Door locks are expensive but they're great. So we've got our keypad. We've got number two, our slam latch mounting bracket, which mounts on to number three, the teller lie. Number five, the slam latch, slam latch. You've got all the other bits and pieces, screws, uh, your mortise strike plate, you've got two strike plates, rim fixed strike plates, so you've got uh, two options. You've got your gaskets, you've got your little 11 and 12 is spare red coat tumblers, blue coat tumblers for changing the code. Comes with the code in there, parts list, full instructions, it's amazing. Much better than those cheap screw fix ones. So I'm just going to go through it and then I'll uh, film. Just uh, swapping the handle over so it's on the left hand side. So it's just Allen key and a little grommet there. 30 mil hole drilled, my two tens. This will come through and hold the actual lock mechanism on. And then this is the inside part which will screw up. And then the latch will go on. So I'm just going to do that now. Uh, key codes on. This is the uh, spindle. It throws the tumbler, it's like good. I've had to cut that down again, angle grind it, probably still a bit long, but you've got to be careful, you cut too much off, you've had it, so I'm just going to measure that, I'm using my angle grinder to cut it off. These two 10mm go through and hold the keypad on, it's on now, look. So you've got to cut them down, you've got to be very careful, because you've got to cut them down quite a lot, make sure the thread doesn't, I nearly rounded the thread off inside that one, so you've got to be very careful, it's quite soft. So I had to clean this all up carefully. So that's on now, so I'm going to put the latch on and match that up. Customer alert! Uh, I've got to cut these screw bolts down because of the gate width. So I'll get them angle grinded. So I've chiseled that out in there, I know it looks a bit odd, but it'll work. That'll come along and go in there. So this now shuts, so into there. It'll run along uh, and slam strip. So I'm testing the gate now. I've cut a little rebate into the latch so that it can run smoothly and then slam correctly. Uh, it seems to be working fine. I've had to uh, accommodate this because the receiving frame is at a 45 degree angle. So it's been a bit uh, different. So we've had to uh, be a bit flexible how we've installed this. So affiliate link for the Borg lock in the description below. I just got past my 75,000 views. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe and comment. Hold tight.